Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today's video is special. I will teach you how to open a new Cypress issue reporting a bug in Cypress itself. So I have this project that plays Sudoku and everything kind of works over end to end and component test and most of the component tests are running fine. But I just upgraded to the new version of Cypress 10.6. Everything is working except for the difficulty component spec. This spec imports the difficulty component, mounts it, and it passes on change stop. And then it uses Cypress select command to change the difficulty from easy to medium to hard. Now this should call the stop that we passed. So what we're checking here is we're getting the stub and we're verifying that it was called with the right argument when we change from easy to medium difficulty. Now, as you can see, the stub is called. If I change it, you can see that it gets triggered. I can see the table of uh, spies and stubs and yes, the stub is working, but something is failing right here. We're getting the argument to the stub. And we can see that it's a medium difficulty, right? Because we are selecting the medium value using size select. We are getting the value, we are printing it, it shows up correctly. And after that, we're checking that that value is actually medium. So we see it printed, but then the assertion says it's null, not medium. So what's happening? Why did this test start failing? Well, Let's see if we remove the then scilog. Well, the test starts passing. We put it back. Boom. I use then scilog to print the intermediate values. And the assumption was sci then if the function that you pass as a callback returns undefined that sci then will yield whatever value was passed to it before the current subject. But now, I see that that value becomes null all of a sudden. So I think the bug is that inverse version of Cypress 10.6, they change the return value of Scilog. Used to be undefined, now it's null. And it changes the value yielded to the next assertion or command. Okay, I wanna report this as a bug, right? The first rule is that you need a reproducible example. Literally, without a reproducible example, it's not worth investigating something in the darkness. If a user cannot provide a reproducible example, I'm sorry, the dev team probably will not do much. Okay, so I'm going to exit the current project and I will go to Cypress and, as an organization and there is a project called Test Tiny. And this is the repo that you can fork Create a reproducible example that self-contains, small, simple to understand, shows a problem, and then submit it. If your problem needs a larger production, then we probably want to start from scratch or from your own repo and then uh, simplify it. But for this small example, we, we just want to show Scilog. This is perfect. Okay, I already have a fork, right? So I don't have to fork it, but you would fork it under your account. I would grab the code. And I'll say git clone Cypress test tiny. Okay, so let's open this project. Okay, so if you look at package JSON, it doesn't even have Cypress installed, right? Because Cypress doesn't know which version of Cypress has the problem we're trying to report. So we're gonna install Cypress ourselves. And in this case, it's the latest version 10.6 that has a problem, so it will get installed. Okay, one thing to watch out, we want to use exact version because I want to report this version and then later I will try to trace it back and show that this problem was introduced in a particular version. So I want the version to be precise. Okay, so this is precise version. Now let's open Cypress and it will migrate the old spec files to version 10 format. Continue. Yes, rename, rename, yes. And let's launch it. End to end test, it's fine. Uh, and our spec right now just visits like example website. Okay, so let's look at the spec. 
Okay, so we'll say sign log works. And let's just create a tiny test. So a wrap value should be 42. Okay, so this version works and does not work. When we insert sign log, let's see if it truly doesn't work. Perfect. And fails with 42. Okay, so we're providing a tiny example that shows what's not working, what shows the bug. Okay, so not working in Cypress V10.6, just so we remember. Okay, now I want to show and tell Cypress team that it used to work. So what I will do, I will maybe bisect and I'll try to remember the version where it worked for sure. Okay, so this is 10.6. Point four. We're gonna install it. We're gonna open Cypress and to end test Electron browser. Click on the spec and it used to work. See, it's not null. It's forty two because it's a previous subject. Okay, so let's record this. Worked in ten four. Oh, what about ten point five? Let's install it and to end test start spec. Okay, ten point five is not working. Okay not working in 10.5. So something in between those two versions has changed the behavior of scilog command. Cypress team will easily track this down. Okay, now we just have to provide it as an example to them. I will say this is a new branch log or a scilog bug. Let's see. It. I will add everything that I have created. Show the scilog bug. I will push it into my repository in a new branch. Okay, so this is the problem. Okay, and now I'm gonna go to Cypress repo and I'm gonna open a new issue. Issues, new issue, bug report, scilog now returns undefined in five used to be returns null in version 10.5 used to be undefined. So now we're gonna describe that Dialog return undefined, so it should be inserted in. Okay, so desired behavior scilog should still return undefined. Okay, now we need to show the steps. We need we reproduce the problem repo and branch. Okay, version of Cypress where the problem started, and let's copy paste. Now let's say the whole thing. So it's easy to understand what's working, what's not working. Um, 16, Mac, okay, no other details. I think this is it, right? Submit new issue. Okay, so this is the issue we just opened, has nice reproduction. Cypress team will easily track this down and fix it so the behavior is not changed.